Hello everyone, this is John Dunlop, aka Seafood Metal Lot, and we're out here in the metal shop today. Uh, it's Labor Day of 2013, and I came out to um, answer a, a request. Uh, I had someone email me on um, my process of making leaves, metal leaves. So today we're going to talk about a couple of leaves and uh, show you how I do it. Here's a leaf in a raw stage. This is just a piece of coat hanger and as you can see it's so it's folded in half like I put the coat hanger in fold it in half and then I open it back up and I'll weld down the middle and I'll weld the veins then I take it over to my log and I'll hammer it into shape now as you saw like on the wine glass holder and that shelf, you know I spray painted them with like barbecue paint and then we sponge colored, you know sponged a little bit of autumn color on it. Same thing with this one here. Another type of leaf that I like to make, it's a little easier. My wife calls them heart leaves, <laughs> but they're these. This one I actually brazed it on, the coat hanger, but um, I've actually gone now to welding them on. It's just quicker and easier. These leaves are actually heat uh, colored by heat and then clear coated. But they're just, you know, you cut them out in the shape and you hammer them until you get the shape you want. It's all about hammering them on the log. This is the same style leaf, but this one I took the, the uh, whiz wheel and cut veins in it. So later in the video I'll show you a couple of pictures of some plants that I made. Let me just show you the whiz wheel. I call it a whiz wheel. It's a cutoff tool with a thin like um, disc for cutting metal you get them in Home Depot this tool is a roto zip you can put different attachments on it but to tell you the truth I've never really used it except with this okay so let's get going okay so there you have the leaf marked on the steel what I did was I took a piece of oak tag I just folded it in half I cut it and when you cut it you know you open it up and obviously it becomes a symmetrical shape even on both sides I do that a lot even uh, like butterfly wings and stuff like that I'll always fold it in half cut it and you know do it that way so what we're gonna do is cut it out we're gonna put a coat hanger rod in here we're gonna fold it weld it and pinch it open and as you can see it's already beginning to get like a leaf shape so we're going to do that with the steel. Anything you want to try to do with steel, um, if you play with the oak tag, it kind of acts very similar. And you'll kind of get an idea whether it's going to be possible or not. And then I just put it to the steel, take my Sharpie, you know, mark it around, and that's how we have it. Now we're going to cut it with the plasma cutter. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we have the leaf we just cut out with the plasma cutter. You kind of get a feel for what the edge looks like. Usually I'll pick off this slag. Here, let me show you right now. Just pick that all off. And you got the idea. The plasma cutter really leaves a... Uh, not a sharp edge so it's very nice if you were to cut this out with shears you would end up cutting yourself probably pretty severely through the 
course of a plant or whatever you'd be making so I really recommend using a plasma cutter I don't have very many expensive tools just really the welder and the plasma cutter everything else is very inexpensive okay now we have the leaf I picked off all the slag around the edge and I took a marker and I marked my center line what I'm going to do now is put that in the vise right along that line and then we're going to hammer and fold it over okay so I have it in the vise right on the line and we're going to we're going to bend it Okay, so what we have now is the leaf, we folded it in half, we opened it back up, we created a little crease down in here, and we just got our rod laid in there, our piece of coat hanger. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pinch it in the vise, but I don't want to be straight all the way. I don't want to pinch the end. I want to just taper it into, like, no pinch, somewhere in the middle here. You know, um, like if you look at this leaf that I already completed, you see it goes away so when you get to this part of the leaf you want it to be flat all right so now whoop, there it is now I'm going to uh, go to the vise okay we're in the vise as you can see we're only pinching up here and all of this is out so it is the taper that we're talking about you don't want to pinch a lot of it you just pinch enough to grab the uh, coat hanger all right now we're gonna open it up bang it out flat and then we're going to weld right down the middle and then we'll put our veins on Alright, there's our leaf so far. We hammered it. We opened it back up. As you can see, it's already starting to cup and get like distorted, which that's why I like pinching it a little bit. It really gives it a natural shape. So at this point, I'm going to put it back in the vise and we're going to weld right down the middle, which would also be attaching the rod to the leaf, and then we'll put our veins on. One thing I like working about in the vise, well, about working in the vise, is you can just clamp your ground clamp for the welder right onto the vise, and anything that you put in the vise will now be grounded, so you don't have to have that clamp. When you're working with small things, that clamp sometimes is a real pain in the neck. So, uh, you know, that's useful. And it's also helpful to have a decent vise. You don't want to buy something that's just going to frustrate you.
there's the final product a metal leaf that you can either wire wheel down and clear coat or heat mark and clear coat or paint it make a plant make a vine I have uh, actually made a couple of plants and um, they should be coming up pretty soon there goes the first plant I made then I made this plant the next is the same plant in different lighting and then I made a vine so I've made a fair amount of leaves I hope you enjoyed as much as I do and I'll see you on the